Welcome to Three Mile Island Stadium in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. Today's forecast is going to be cool and breezy with nuclear lightning and intermittent chance of acid rain. So for those sitting in the stands, don't forget to wear your hazmat suits. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Lock Wages Invaders battle. The Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. You want dirt and some fun on your time! It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, no, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Hey, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hey. Oh, he just got crushed. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they not out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in brain. Boom! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. First and eight to go. Look out, that's an all-out attack. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and four. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants.
First down and three. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Say goodnight to that guy, Briggs. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Briggs. You're an idiot. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And four. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10 story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Card game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. Shitty pass to absolutely no one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at. They might catch him. Just think, three years ago, Bricks, this robot was a fake ATM machine stealing millions. Now he's scoring in front of millions. That's NFL football, folks. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Man, he's running like a bull on. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, and, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at all. I'm glad one guy is stepping up. He refuses to go down. Uh -huh. 
second down in a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. Much math. Exactly. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Second down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the boom, to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Second down and nine. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And it's first and ten. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. And he just bristles away from that tackle. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row. First and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That was it. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo. Is she gonna dry clean that before she gives it back to me?
and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. The receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Ten-yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. They don't need much here. Looks like they're going for it. And he snags it for six. You know, comments after last week's game were blowing up on Chitter. Critics said he should shut up or blow up. You know, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to buy it. First and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Second down and five. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a big boost injection, too. Uh, now, that may have weird side effect. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And the defense is on his heels. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot. You know what they say? Sometimes the best offense is a chip. <laughs> oh man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Three. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The ten. He could go. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the 
ref didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First down and five. And he rumbles it. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. The kick is good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sand? Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so good. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. I don't think you can say that, Cliff. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Full man about a six yard game. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. And it's first and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Second down and ten. 
I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Your sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays on defense, schmuck. Second down. Hot, hot one. Hot. He picks up nine yards on that catch. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He could go all the way. Well, back to the bench. He dropped it, you putts. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he He's not going down. And like Rick, he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He's at the 40. He's at the 30. goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. In a hurry-up offense, there's no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Hot two. Nice run for five yards. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. First down in a mile. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in, freaked him out. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, they're going to go into a strip piece. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. in there and swaps the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swap. 
Second down and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps up. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. And the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Second down and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down and ten. receptions in the offense and the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8 the greatest hits of all time huh? did you just say greatest hits Wham! and it's first and ten Four. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The Blitzburg Steelheads are decimated and destroyed today. They lose by forfeit. They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chunks choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. 
God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every other...